We are just starting out in November, but I am reminded that there are lessons that I learned throughout October that I want to share and carry into November. I am reminded to remain steady and keep trust in my spirits, that I am exactly where I need to be. In moments that I am in the energy of being unsure or impatient or even scared, I remind myself of all the fulfilled manifestations that I co-created with spirit thus far because it's evident all around me. Taking the time to pray a psalm every morning has helped to remind me of my connection to the divine. I was reminded through Psalm 19 that the law of the Lord are perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord's are clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord's are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Let my words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord my strength and my redeemer. Realizing reciprocation and noticing how I distribute my energy was also a very important lesson. It's important to remember to acknowledge your worth and not to give your energy away to those that are not reciprocating back. You are valuable. You have worth. You are understood. You are seen. Flow and let go when necessary. Last month, I also plagued myself with questions such as, am I doing enough? Am I being enough? Am I being all that I can be for the people I need to be this for? For my living family and my ancestors? Questions such as these had me add pressure to myself and my journey, more pressure than is necessary. I was not acknowledging the work I had put in. As little as it seemed at the time, I realized it wasn't little at all. I am removing blockages so that there is space for my blessings. I am relearning how to take care of myself and I am working on my business to create a fulfilling life for me. When you do for you, you are then able to do for others. But adding pressure does not elevate your emotional understanding and vibrations and it hinders your abundance that is yours to claim. When shuffling and asking spirit for the energy of this month or the month of whenever you are listening to this, um, the message again reminds of the importance to look up. Yes, you are where you need to be. And yes, acknowledge how far you have come. You are doing all that you need to do. But we are not looking up and appreciating the journey. The journey is just as important as the destination. The journey is yours, but the burden is not yours to bear alone because you are not alone. 
you have a whole spiritual team right next to you, right beside you, around you, above you, surrounding you. So take the time to release and appreciate the journey. You may also have so many passions and so many ideas coming to you during this time. So much things that you are so excited for, things that you're working towards, whether it's that business or that job or the relationship or the growth, spiritual growth, financial growth, whatever it is, there's so much of it that you want to pursue. Trust that you will pursue it. Prosperity lies ahead. But through that journey, only when you look up and appreciate everything around you, appreciate how far you've come, appreciate where you're going, focus, look up to just focus on what's ahead, will you then know what needs to be done? Walking without any direction is walking on a path to nowhere. So at least look up to see where you're going. Because you're going to beautiful, stable places. You're going to the places and, and arriving in the spaces that you have manifested. And even manifesting things that you don't even know that is in store. But once you look up, you will begin to see it and understand it much more clearly.